The isolation of women looks different in different parts of the world, but it's still universal. In some societies it's blatant and deliberate. In others it lurks, hidden by all kinds of sophisticated language. The physical isolation we've experienced during COVID has acted as a catalyst, with women more determined than ever to emerge from isolation for good. I'm a woman. I'm Lebanese and American. I am an actor by profession. I'm Edwina, Edwina Lau. I'm from Hong Kong. I'm uh, from Aotearoa, New Zealand. I'm a proud British Pakistani. The woman in Tunisia plays a significantly different role. We have um, for many years been destroying the habitat. Being deaf it means a certain type of loneliness. It means um, isolation in social situations. I come from a Hispanic heritage. The experience of isolation is the experience of my childhood. You don't play like the men. Why should we have to play like the men? Why can't we just play like women? So I learned from a very young age that I was to keep quiet. I'm a trans woman and isolation is familiar to me. Chuk means shut up or be quiet. And it's a word that just typified women's experiences. Farbale, it's that word that has been used to say, but you're a woman, you need to, you need to calm down. Am I smart enough? Am I attractive enough? There is a wonderful stereotype of an Asian woman. We are quiet. I silenced myself for all of my life. And in this country, as in most European country, a woman should stay home with her kids. I'm not going to fire ballet. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to use my voice. Finally, I'm getting back my voice. I, am, I can speak. Enough is enough. I'm going to fight back. I'm stronger than this. Women have no sexuality. It is suppressed. I know that there are those boundaries that grew tighter and tighter around the free soul in me to a point that I am confined to a very small space. This is our chance to define new realities and to try new things. If I do want to change what's going on on the outside, how I'm treated on the outside, I'm going to start from home. You can rethink your thinking. Each and every woman I've met is extraordinary in their own way. We're not all the same. We're not all one template. Everyone is good at something. We learn cultural intelligence about each other because we are good at working together. We could be even better. What we can derive from this by sharing is to learn and to feel that we're not alone in this. I will speak because that is the only way to change the world into the one that I want to live in. It's a small ask with a huge impact. Now is the time for us to support and connect each other across the world. I'm going to be bold to step up and be a symbol. So, my advice to you, prepare to speak. Think of it almost as a sort of global film club where we all commit as women to watching a film once a week. The objective of all of this is to have a greater combined voice of women in the world.